quickly take you to uh, a parting on this date where our correspondent, senior political correspondent, Adelo Zubakon, is live for us there. As something is actually going on, I would like to know. Ayo, if you can hear me, what do we need to know about the incidences there? Yes. Uh, yes. What I'm saying here is apparently here, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party actually is trying to exercise his franchise. He has been on the queue since 9 a.m. And uh, for this exercise, I don't think it's going on well for him in terms of he has been trying to actually register and um, so that he can vote. He has been waiting here for some time and he has not been able to vote. Mr. Itai Jagade, what's happening here? Well, I'm told now that the cardioid machine is becoming faulty. I've always voted here. It has never been faulty. And when it came to my turn, that is when it became impossible for voters to vote again. With a long line of queue, people are still waiting. And then somehow they want to stall these uh, processes. I think uh, for whatever reason, INEC is not uh, doing it right. Um, very unfortunately, and uh, despite the presence of the pressmen and the large turnout of people, the presiding officer said his uh, cardinal machine is not working and that um, I can't go on. So also you got here around 9 a.m. Yes, and you've been waiting on this queue for over two hours. Yes. And I was even telling somebody to tell you to vote on time, yes. but you refused to jump the queue. Yes. And here you are, it's your turn. But we must set new standards. There must be high values of our people. While some people are going low, some of us won't prefer to go up there. If I had jumped the queue, I would have been laying a bad example. I intended to lay good example by staying on the queue because all of us are going through the same processes. But you can see that uh, when it is now the turn of uh, myself to vote, the presiding officer said the machine is faulty. The, his deputy, our deputy also agreed with her. And then they were looking for the SPO. And then the rat tech, the man in charge of the machine, just disappeared uh, in INEC of today, INEC of uh, 10th of October 2020. You can see those who are on the queue now. This is a voting process disrupted by INEC. From what everybody can see, this is a voting process in which a rector cannot be found when it came to my turn. It's a voting process in which they have to announce for SPO to come around. It's a process that has gone through this complex, very, very unfortunate, disturbing, and um, does not portray a good image of INEC or of our people. If at this point, at this polling unit, but majority, majority of the people that have been standing here, they've been exercising their franchise. It has been going smoothly. Have you witnessed anybody that has not been able to vote just before you? Because I wasn't an observer. I was on the queue, as you can see. So I wouldn't know what is happening in front. And I want to say things that I saw. I don't want to say things that I did not see. The is one your wife I also going through the same thing? Yes, my wife is going through the same process. She's here. And the next four or five people are going through the same process. She has not been able to vote to. All of them are going through the same process. All. They have checked They've about five. They've not experienced five. it before now. It's just ha uh, happening. They've checked about five, six. She's, her card is not going through. His card did not go through. I don't know. Is your card there? I don't know. Yes, sir. His card is not going through. That meant of uh, INEC, as I can see, I hope and pray they can always uh, find a way to solve this problem. Okay. We have no choice. INEC is the one conducting the elections. And they said they want to conduct free and fair elections. So I, I believe them. I want to give them benefit of doubt that this is not deliberate. But you can see that people here are conducting themselves peacefully. It's not destructive. It's not destructive, but uh, you don't blame voters. Now you see who to blame. So INEC should not blame voters. They should blame themselves. Mm -mm. So while we expect the Independent National Electoral Commission to be come to this police station with somebody that will troubleshoot and uh, actually check what is wrong with this particular card reader, it is strange that this exercise started at about 8.30 here and people have been coming here to vote and they've been going home. But it is strange that two, three hours after, when it's the turn of Mr. Itayo Jagere to the candidate of the People's Democratic Party to actually exercise this franchise, we are, ex we are noticing this 
this ECOP is just a temporary ECOP and people affected. He has been standing on this queue and uh, with Mrs. Jagede and they expect that uh, somebody from the Independent National Electoral Commission will come and troubleshoot this machine so to, uh, to actually make it functional. They started well. The machine was working quite well. The one I've noticed and I've seen since the exercise started this place. But we don't know. Maybe INEC will come now to intervene. To intervene. This is the Sacred Heart School here in Obadeshida Road, Akure, and this place is the polling unit of the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Ibrahim Shita.